everyone. Um, excited to be here today to give you a quick run through. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. I have a little bit of a, you know, verbosity problem, but I'm working on it. So what I wanted to show you today is one of the biggest spots people get hung up because it always gets left to the end and causes really big problems um, at tax time is how do you store, how do you corral, how do you file your online documents? You know, when you have paper documents at home, you put them in a file folder, you do whatever you have to do. A lot of people like to use um, and make an email box in their Gmail and store it here. That's totally cool. That works. And it's um, a method that I use for a lot of years until I sort of found this next best method. So if you use um, Outlook or a different email, that's probably the way you want to go because that is really kind of the only option with it. But my world sort of changed a little bit for me when I f came across Google. I saw an email, um, I think it was a webinar or some show, someone showing the, the beauty of this piece because it all just works together. So if you don't already have Gmail, you need to get a Gmail address for your business. So mine is kellykrishnacompany at gmail.com. Uh, I don't use that for anything other than being my Gmail interface. And then I have all my other emails get redirected into my Gmail address, which it drags everything in here, as you can see. And then anything that gets sent out, I can choose it to set it and send it from Gmail, um, from a different email address. It doesn't go from my Gmail address. It goes from my website address. So I'll show you quickly how to do that under the gear settings. And yours may look different than this. I've got a special view set up on mine. So... Um, but you just look for the gear icon, you go under settings, and you're in accounts. So here you'll see this is the accounts that my email is all coming from. So I've set these up through my web hosting, um, my website hosting. So you'll need to go to your website hosting and ask, find out how to redirect them to your Google. Um, you can also do it and learn here. It does tell you really easily how to do it. So it's, it's pretty simple to do. Um, then you have your send mail as option and that's where it's important because otherwise you're going to have it going through from gmail.com which you don't you want to have it from your website address it just you know if you don't have any other option it's fine but if you have your website address it's much more professional so all you're wanting to do here is where these ones are hit you know this one would have been like this before so you just click on it and it makes it default so this is the one that my emails are all being sent from. And as you look down here, I've clicked all reply, reply from the default message. So that's what I do to make this work as basically just to be a holding spot for all my emails. And then I can sort through everything and deal with the um, receipts. So the next step is that. So you've got all your emails coming into here. Then you've got to be able to get your receipts out, right you want to be able to store them so you could you know just drag this and tag it and make it into whatever folder here perfectly great the option that I love that changed my world is this little icon right here so this allows you to save it directly to a Google Drive folder and it saves the PDF it doesn't save the whole message because you don't need all of this you just need the receipt where this receives the whole receipt email message right so that's where this is really cool so if you need to send this to your bookkeeper to your accountant you don't have to go through these and pull all those PDFs out again you just go through into this whatever folder you save this to in your Google Drive and you can give them access to your Google Drive they've got everything same goes for Dropbox I just know Google Drive because I use Google Drive for everything so that was my choice but at this point what you would do is if you don't have a Google Drive set up you should be able to click here on your screen go into here and set up a Google Drive then just set up whatever folder you choose to you'll have your folder set up then once that's done you come back so I've got my copy of this invoice that has not been saved to Drive so I'm gonna click Save to Drive and what it does is it allows me to choose whichever folders I want so this one is for me is a personal one for my business so I get to save it under admin and it's just I'm gonna put it there for now it, it goes in a different spot but I'm not gonna worry about that but you can see so you can set up those folders to be anything you want you could have it separated into office supplies and completely broken out into your categories that you would use for your bookkeeper to make the entering, which will make 
her, their job much easier and in the end save you significant amounts of money because they're saving time. So that is the one big aha piece you can do to save yourself some money and get organized when you're starting out in your business. All these little expenses will add up when you are starting, especially, but all the way through. You don't want to pay any more tax than you have to, and you want to make sure you're able to write off everything that you get. So this is a really important step. You also can take pictures of any paper receipts or scan them with your scanner and do the same thing and save them to Google Drive. Then you know everything is in one spot. Even if it's only just save to a receipts folder is better than nothing. So I want to encourage you to get the system set up to handling your receipts. Make that a priority, do that first, and then come back and sort of look at the next steps. Um, you can have your assistant do this for you as well. If you're working with a VA, you tell them how you want them to handle the situation and they can deal with it as well. So good luck with that. And let me know if you have any questions, any challenges, or any, any add-ons. I'm always open to new ways of doing things too. Cheers.